Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Fred and Diesel and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Diesel's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred's using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction. And the only correction that we give here at school is a tug and let go on the training collar. And you will be instructed on how to use that correctly during your one-on-one -on -one follow up training session. The first exercise that we're gonna demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash. The command is diesel heal. And at this point, diesel's been taught to walk next to your left leg not forging ahead or lagging behind and in conjunction with this is an automatic sit so that when you stop your feet when you're walking whether it's to cross traffic or to talk to a neighbor Diesel has been taught to sit automatically and wait for his next command. So this makes walking your big dog a pleasure and doesn't make you a windsock. The next exercise that Fred's going to demonstrate for us is the stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. Fred's going to use the open flat of his palm and the one word firm command to stay. When you're practicing at home, you can practice your sit stays indoors as well as outdoors. Now he laid down on the sit, so Fred's going to bring him back around and make him complete the exercise as it was taught. So when you're practicing in your living room, your sit stays are very important. Helps to develop focus and maturity. When Fred returns back to his dog, he will walk all the way around him, ending up all the way back around, back to heel position as an additional distraction. And these puppies are still babies, so they need the focus, the maturity, the length of attention span, all of those things they're developing as they go. Nice automatic sit. We're videotaping inside today because it's very nasty cold. The next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the recall or the come on command. You use his name and the word come, so it's diesel come. He should come right in front of you and sit facing your knees and then he returns all the way back around to heel position and back sitting. Every time your dog returns back to that position, back to the heel position, he expects to get another command. You have to tell him what's expected. Fred's going to call him again. Diesel come. He comes right in front of Fred and he should sit. That keeps him from coming to you and jumping all over you and then all the way back around to heel position. Very nice exercise. Now Fred's going to set up to demonstrate for us your down commands and there are two of them. They're the first one that we're going to demonstrate is down from heel position. So again you will notice that your dog is right back where we started with his shoulders next to Fred's left leg. Fred's going to use the open flat of his palm straight down toward the ground and the one word firm command to down. The long down stay when you're practicing at home, your goals will be three minutes, working up to five minutes, and you can practice this while you're sitting watching TV. Make your commands a part of your everyday life. When Fred returns back to the puppy, he will walk all the way back around him, returning all the way back around to heel position again for the additional distraction. He's going to heal him out of that exercise. And as you get a little bit more experienced with training and working with your trainer, you're going to see that you can mix these exercises up. Fred puts him into a down again, leaves him in a stay. He's doing a good, they've done a really great job. They've come a long way. They were such little ragamuffins when they came. <laughs> now they're actually almost adolescents. Now Fred's going to call him out of this exercise. Good boy. Brings him in and has him sit. 
and then go all the way back around to heel position. And the very last exercise that we're going to demonstrate, remember always have your dog sitting before you attempt to put him into a down. He sees himself in the mirror is what he's looking at over there. Fred's going to leave him in a sit stay. This is your down from a distance. He's going to use his right hand to give the command. I'm going to move so that you can see it. No. And that's your down from a distance, and then Fred returns back to his dog. Now we've demonstrated for you his heel, his automatic sit, his stay, his down, his down from a distance, and his come. You're going to be practicing this at home along with your video and all of the other instructions that we're going to give you when Diesel and Ellie go home. We've enjoyed having them, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainers.